back to another video, man. That's just from Cash, not from YouTube. That's your guest. You gonna introduce yourself? Oh, I'm the special guest? Yeah, man. I'm just playing. My name's McQueen, man. What's the deal? What's going on? So let me give y'all a quick little backstory. Me and McQueen took over the entire YouTube scene. What year did you say? 2017? 20, 2017 or 18? 2017, 18. You know. Summer 16, too. Yeah, yeah. Niggas was going to playlist and big con and shit. Hawaii, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> good times, man. Good. Hawaii was good ass time, bro. I was thinking about that the other day. I'm like, oh. The vlogs we was making in Hawaii, especially there was this one specific part. I, I remember I stumbled in the, in the, in the, um, in the liquor store, mm -hmm. and you had put some some salmon effects. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, that was good times though. Good times. Mm -hmm. What you like? You like forty or something now, right? You said forty. I'm thirty. Oh shit! Damn. Yeah. How old are you, man? You're old, bro. Really? You think so? I don't know. Are you kind of pushing it? I don't know. Are you kind of pushing it? I feel bro. like I feel like I'm just entering my prime. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I ain't never been more attracted than I've ever been in my life. You know, more attractive, more attractive, more focused, more disciplined, more hungry. You got a girl. More type risk shit. taking. Nah, man, I can't do it. Why not? Because there's just too many thooters out here, bro. For real. Too many. Thooters at thirty, kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe for you, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Maybe for the average man. Yeah. But I am not the average man. No, please. So it's like, okay. Am I really even in the same cow? Can you even can you even use that whole oh yeah thirties old thing on me? You're right. No? You forever young, bro. I mean, I hope. I feel. I that. hope, but you know, right now I'm looking good. Dub not looking too good at thirty. For real. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 what most people look like at thirty. Then you looking old. I don't, I'm not looking like that. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You been in the gym though. Yeah. Exactly. You know so that's the difference between me and Dub fat ass. You know what I'm saying? You need to get Damn. his ass in there too. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I ain't gonna lie, I got, I got my brother knocking you out on a one-on-one -on -one fight. You know that's not gonna happen. I swear to God. Bro. You know that's not gonna happen. On some just one-on-one, -on -one, like, listen, I'm talking about, it's just you and him. I will have him. a field no. day with Doug. Listen, I listen, swear to God, that, was, listen, that would make my day if we wanted to squabble. Bro, tell him we can squabble. Listen, just listen. so I can whoop his ass right in front of you. Okay. Boom. Listen, I'm saying, I'm talking about, it's just y'all two, three minutes all white room, nigga. <laughs> okay. All white room, bro. It's it's cushion floors and shit, so that <laughs> niggas can fall on the wall uh, and shit. Uh, I'm talking about you probably be getting your ass beat from wall to wall, bro. You think so? Nigga, run like seven miles a day. Well, you supposed to say that? That's your brother. It's not like you're supposed to say I'm gonna whoop his ass. You be bad. bad I brother. would say like Javante Davis definitely killing my brother. Well, duh. Like, That's common sense. Yeah. But I'm saying like now, I, I got my. I got my brother whooping rich ass too. <laughs> that, as you should. Yeah. <laughs> you should. You should. I'm just. You'd be a bad brother if you said. It. I'm not sitting there expecting me like, yeah, McQueen, you might whoop his ass. No. Yeah, I'll you. But I'm gonna whoop his ass though. You know. So y'all might as well box then. Fuck it. Why box? Damn. What you got beef with him? No, I'm just on? saying. You know what I'm saying? If we gonna squabble, you know, and we in this white room that you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, you're already cushioned floors. You know, point of boxing glove type shit. Yeah, I'm just like, you know. But anyways, now dub my, dub the homie, man. Um, you know they ain't, they they cut that part out. What well, component? The dub the homie part. Oh, they cut that part <laughs> out. That part out. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga gonna be on fifty. But I got questions, man. Let me see what they ask. Um, why did you guys take so long to unite, no more? You want to go first, cause I f I have my own um, I have my own reason. Yeah, I go first. Yeah, you know I feel like we just went down two different paths in life. You know, um, even before you moved to Miami and shit, you know we just living different lives. You know, and I'm in LA. You my I seen I seen McQueen two years ago though. Y'all probably remember the vlog. I might not, but it was on the bus. Was that two years ago already? Two years, bro. 
Damn. The year 2022, bro. Damn. It's crazy. Nigga, time is Damn, flying. Damn, fool. It's crazy. Okay, so you continue. But, but yeah, I feel like, you know, that's, that's all it is. Just different life paths and, you know, we kind of had, had our differences back in the day. Which is, you know, now that you look back at it, it's kind of like, it was stupid as hell. kid shit, you yeah. know. Super stupid. But, you know, still, still my homie though. What's your explanation? <clears throat> um, <clears throat> no one knows this. I never said anything about this, but you remember like four years ago, I came to a crib, like, and I, I was trying to contact you for a while, and I think you were still mad at me, and I was trying to like get in contact with you, and I remember I showed up to your crib, and I knocked on the door, and we just had a talk. Remember that? I've smoked a lot of weed since then. <laughs> I feel you. Yeah, um, it was when you had you were just moving into your new house, and then you had that the one. The one um, that was on La Brea. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In Glendale. Oh, Glendale. Okay. Glendale. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So you you remember that, right? Yeah, I kind of remember it a little bit. No one knows this, but I came um, over to his crib just because. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I, I'm not going to sit here and act like, even when I still see people that ask me about you, bro, like, I'm, I am I never speak bad about you. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I always say, like, man, me and that nigga made so much fucking memories together, bro. Like, I'm sorry, I'm keep cussing on your on your stuff. Yeah, no, it's um, But, like, man, there's too many damn memories and too many damn good-ass times, and we made too much money and made too much noise, like, yeah. for that to just, for me to just not cherish those moments. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, no yeah. matter what happened between us, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that was those are those are memories that I'll I'll cherish forever. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. And I and I look forward to honestly, I, I mean when I going back to this is where that's where I was going with this was when I came to your crib, I was thinking about that. Do you know what I'm saying? I was thinking about that. I'm like, man, am I really about to like let even if I, if it didn't work? Like even if I came over to your crib and like you didn't want nothing to do with me, like <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like I wanted to just know that you just throw like one no homo in there. No homo. Okay. Um. I... <laughs> yeah, just don't want to mention that. A little too intimate. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. But nah, I was like, I, I, I remember in that moment, like, man, am I really finna let the homie like, just kind of like, see, now you're making me think of a, a non. No, you good. Non fruity way to say. As long it. as you um, throw that in there, like, at okay. some point in time. So I'm like, am I really le- about to let the homie just kind of like? Am, am I really about to just like, not? Reconcile this relationship, no homo. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's just like you know, like you were, you were really one. Like at the time, you were besides renting, and you were my best friend. You know, so it's just like you know, it it just it was kind of hard to just kind of be like, bro, like, am, am I really gonna let this? So he's like you said, looking back now, it was childish as hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I'm not. I think just feel like it was so stupid to at least not try and come and like be the bigger man and say something. You feel me? So should I just say the the real reason why I like. We kind of like fell out. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, did we not talk about that already? We talked about it. Uh, not on here, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, I was dating this girl at the time. Yeah, I obviously know who I'm talking about. Her, um, this nigga, right? I forgot. Was we beefing or something? It had to be something, bro. It was something going on. I don't know what it was. This nigga goes on the beach. <laughs> what did you? Hold on, hold on. This nigga goes on the beach. I forgot what the clip was, but like she had popped in your video and like said some slick shit. Mm-hmm. Like she was purposely trying to like make me mad and shit. Yeah. But you kept it in the video and she was in the thumbnail. Mm-hmm. After that, I was like, damn, bro, I can't even be cool with this nigga like that. Yeah. And I understand from your perspective. <clears throat> But in my mind, I was like, I mean, you you watched the clip, right? I watched it, but I don't remember it. Okay, well, nothing. I never said nothing about you. I was trying to get her out of the video. Yeah. I literally, like, the, the video's still going. I was literally telling her, like, yo, you're, like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's sitting there touching, like, because the point of the video was, like, I was trying to ask girls, do you want to bang tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a can. yeah, yeah. And she, as I'm talking to other girls, she's like walking in saying, no, you're with me. You're with me. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you could. Now, like, hear me out. Right. Hear me out. Right. Okay. 
the the part of not understanding how you would feel when I put it up as a thumbnail was like that was fucked up. Yeah. You know? And I wasn't being considerate of your feelings in that. And moment. I was on some like during that time, bro, I was on some real life S I M P shit. <laughs> what you mean? Like, bro, I was in Miami trying to like get her back and shit. You know uh, what I'm saying? Okay, right, right. And you had her in the video talking about you want to bang tonight. Yeah, but it's like, <laughs> well, I didn't say that to her though. No, I know. I'm just yeah. saying, like, it, the context around the whole thing. No, I feel you. It, it didn't like, look good. It's from the outside looking in. Yeah. Did no. you want to bang tonight? Yeah. And then I mean, my yeah. ex mm -hmm. is in the thumbnail. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel that. I feel that. And I, I mean, I told you this before that day when I came over to your crib. Yeah. But, bro, that, that video, in terms of like, because that's why I emphasize, like, if you watch the clip, I was telling her, like, yo, what are you doing? I'm walking away from her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All that. She did it twice. It wasn't just once. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you could tell she was clearly trying to piss you off. You know? Yeah. So, like, in that in that sense, I wasn't looking at it like, oh. That shit hurt my heart, bro. You don't even know. Let me finish, oh though, fool. Let me, let me finish. Let me please. Yeah, why have you fool? What you mean? Nigga, that's what I said. I'm telling you, bro. I'm a valedictorian. I don't give a fuck what you are, nigga. I can't say fool. You say fool? Like, you really say fool? In Cali, thing? yes. So if they don't take that as disrespectful? No. Go ahead. You my you, bad, take, you take it as disrespectful? I'm sorry, bro. I didn't even disrespect no, I, you. No, I saw it. Yeah, bro. You all right? Yeah, I'm cool. cool. All right. Good. Um, what I was going to say, though, was... Um, nah, uh, in, in, in the... I told you this before, but my my um my intentions definitely wasn't like to be, you know, spiteful or disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Is that was I aware that it might look look bad? Yeah. 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 But like I wasn't sitting there like <clears throat> thinking like in terms of like how you could feel from the outside looking. Because now that you say that, that is kind of crazy. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you going through whatever you going through with your ex. And then on top of it, you see your good homie right on YouTube in the thumbnail with the title, Do You Want to Bang Tonight? You know what I'm saying? So it does, I never, I never looked at it that, in that moment, I was thinking about YouTube, get a video, get a video. Damn, she hopped in the video, okay, I can use that as, a, as easy, a clickbait. Thought. That's how I was looking at it, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And that wasn't, that wasn't right. So, you know, in that sense, I do apologize. And I, I, I mean, you, I, don't, I don't give zero fucks now. No, I'm saying like, I'm just taking responsibility for it. Oh, yeah, yeah. But like, at the same time too, like, you know, remember I said that a long, I must said that a long time ago, you know? Yeah. And that's why I came to the career because I wanted you to know that. I wanted you to like, know that even if we weren't going to be friends after that, that like, at least you, you know what I'm saying? You know, okay, well, Queen, he's, he's a solid dude. He still came up to me and he apologized for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was my only mission that day. Yeah. You feel me? So... But well, I mean, I, well, I was trying to say like the leading up to the event. I remember I was in the car with the Shay. Mm -hmm. I had just got cool with the Shay, and he was in Miami. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting in the car, bro. It was raining. You remember it was raining and shit, right? It was raining for a brief second. You know how Miami is. It was yeah. raining for a brief second. I'm sitting in the car talking to the Shay. This nigga. A fucking fetus at this point. This nigga like seventeen or some shit. Bro. Right, 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 right. I'm asking him for advice. Like, damn, bro, should I go in there? Cause she ain't been talking to me or nothing. Like, mm -hmm. I was damn near like blocked, like cut off type shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, bro, should I go in there? And then I was just sick, bro. And I went in there, and then it was just weird vibes. What happened? You never told me what happened when you walked in there. I mean, I kind of don't want to elaborate on it because, yeah. you know, it's irrelevant now. Yeah, exactly right. Okay. During that time, it was like, that was a tough moment for me, bro. Yeah, I believe it. You know how it is. No, I believe it. That's definitely how it felt when I was breaking up with, um, with my last ex, but I know yours was different. You yeah. know what I'm saying? How was, you still uh, talk to... Uh, Man, hell no. But you know, but you know what's funny? I think around that time when I came to apologize to you, I think that's... remember. Do you remember you, you asked me... Remember you was talking to me about her, like in your crib? It was when you still had that that uh, little Riley Thuder that you were in your little circle. She would. I've <clears> never. I never. You ever asked me about life, Nina. You asked me. He was like, "No, I know you said Thuder though." Like, mm -hmm. I have never in my life even touched, got close to. Like that was genuinely like my homie. You know oh yeah, yeah, Riley. Yeah, 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 I know that. Saying? Like you yeah. know how we was homies. Mm -hmm. That's how me and Riley was. Okay. Yeah. Well, I ain't had nothing to do with what I was going to say, though. 
I was throwing it. Oh, you was throwing it? Okay, right, okay, yeah. yeah. But I was going to say that, um, no, like, uh, that, that, to go, going back to what you originally was asking me, like, no, I definitely don't talk to that bot at all. She's done. She's cut. She's obliterated from my existence. Okay. Like, I haven't talked to her in, like, three, almost three and a half years now. For real? Yeah. I wonder what she's doing now. Sick. For real? Has to be. Yeah. Has to be. I mean, I've only got more of attractive. I've only got more money. I've only continued to grow. In every way. So it's just like, there's me 1,000. Like, she was lucky that I was even dealing with her toxic ass for that, for that long. Damn. You know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, is and is any other, I hate using this corny ass term, but you know, any man, any quality man out there that actually has money, status, is in shape, you know what I'm saying? Is any man actually going to deal with a toxic cesspool like that? Not not a guy that she re, that she respects, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's just like, okay, and you know, women's value as they grow you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you know, like their looks, yeah, it kind of, yeah. it decreases. So like their value kind of intrinsically de- decreases too. So it's like, you're only, your time, your, your, your time clock is kicking, it, it's ticking, baby. You know what I'm saying? While mine, the glass is just getting extended. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm getting more time. Yeah. You feel you me? You like older women? I do. Okay. Well, they have to, now it's like, bro, you, you gotta, you gotta bring a lot more to the table than just coaching. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it really doesn't matter if it's older or younger. It's really like, what are you going to do? What? Are, how are you going to aid me? How are you going to make my life better? Yeah. You know? Type shit. And a lot of these girls only bring coaching. Yeah. What, you know what I'm saying? Even the older ones. Yeah. I still got older ones coming to me talking about, well, I am the table. Okay, well, what do you bring to the... What do you do? Uh, I have money. I'm like, I but, don't care about your but money. She, but you got to think about it. She did tell you she's the table. The table doesn't bring anything to the table. Okay, you're right. <laughs> so let me let me switch to the in the analogy or right, like yeah. the, the figure of speech. If she, if she says she's the table, right? What is this table made of? Mm. What is this table? How is it constructed? What it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, uh, good coaching. <laughs> like what? What? That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. maybe that would have worked on 24 year old me, but yeah. Not now. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't care about your money. I got that already. Yeah. I don't care about your status. Like, what is that going to do for me? Yeah. I don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just really care about, are you a feminine woman? You know what I'm saying? Somebody said, McQueen, when will you settle down, have kids, and get married? Mm. When I find a girl that actually deserves that. Yeah. I feel you. And I know you feel me on that. Yeah. Having a kid with somebody is a, it's a big deal. Nowadays, these girls don't deserve that, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But having a kid is like a... It's a even huge... If, even if you had an accident, bro. Like, say you went to the club and just, you know, had an accident. Girl ended up pregnant. Boom, boom. Had a baby. Mm-hmm. Bro, the baby's... A cool nigga, like he he don't, he ain't got no smoke with you at all, type shit, and he gonna look like you a little bit. Just like when you see your baby, it's like, damn, this nigga really just fuck with me. Yeah, like, it's like just an unconditional yeah, genuine it's like, love. It's like, yeah, God, this nigga feeding me, this nigga changing my diaper. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I fuck with this nigga. Yeah. It's just a different type of feeling, bro. Having a kid, it's like yeah. Man, I mean, I know, look forward to having a son. Like, you can go out. You can go. You can go out into the world, mm-hmm. kill three niggas, and come back home, and your baby still so love you. gonna smile in your face, hug you, all types of shit. So, yeah, it's and that's something that you won't ever really truly understand until you experience it yourself. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but you had like a a baby cousin or like a baby a nephew or something. Yeah, you know how you get that feeling. Mm-hmm. Just imagine like having that feeling all the time. Right. Like, this is my my. This baby. is mine though. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's dope. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, uh, I definitely look forward to having a son, but, you know, I got a lot of dreams and uh, a lot of money to make, man. Yeah. You feel me? So it's like, if a girl's not coming in and making my life easy, yeah. you're just going to make my life hard. And then adding a baby to that is going to make it extremely hard. That's right. You know, so. That's true. But when I find the right one, yeah, for sure, man. That yeah, is true, bro. Um, like some more questions. This shit do bust, I ain't gonna lie. It's like lobster bites. 
Finger licking, man. <coughs> um, let me see. What was your? <laughs> you drumming that shit? Yeah, yeah. Some questions, week, huh? Yeah. So what? What would you say? Because I got a lot of new people that watch me now that probably don't even remember this era. You for know sure. What I'm saying? Yeah. This is like more so for like the OG meat motherfuckers that was watching back in 2017. But um, what would you say was our was our best series of videos? What when me and you were collabing? Yeah. Um, Chandler for sure. Yeah, that was a that was a. Oh my god, that shit was so funny, bro. That was the, that was the, some of the funniest. I had some of the funniest days of my life when we. I never. I still don't understand why that was happening. Bro, <laughs> bro that was still. But bro, was, to this day, those were the funniest days. Do you remember when she, bro? Do you remember when we was at your crib? Yeah. And we was on live, and we was just laughing at that girl. We was just making fun of her for like forever. Like we was on live doing something, bro. Well, we it's, this we one were we was like beefing with her or some shit. Yeah, like she got up. I don't know. She made that hour long video. Yeah, yeah. Never, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we was we just saying that she made an hour long video to yeah. talk about nothing. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't say a damn thing in that video. No, nah, man, the Chandler she, era was super dope. She was making videos every day, nigga. Yeah. Oh my God, Chandler was funny, bro. No, no, I had some of the funniest, yeah, she's cool. funniest days ever, bro. She's definitely. Um, cool. Damn. What would you say before I? Cause I there was another. There's another one, but what would you say? I think the. I think the diss track. Shit. Oh yeah, that was crazy too. Was, oh yeah, that was I, crazy I, too. I, I, when niggas split splash on your music. Wasn't that during the Chandler era though? Yeah, it was kind of all the same yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, those was good times. Right, that were good times. Damn, good times, man. Niggas old now. You you do you feel that way? Cause I don't feel old, bro. I'm old, bro. I think you feel that because you got a kid now. I mean, there's people that had kids when they was way younger than me, so I don't think that's what makes me feel old. I just feel like I'm old when it comes to this. You feel that way? Yeah, bro. Like, niggas don't really last this long in this shit. Like, mm -hmm. niggas fizzle out. But we out. did, though. Yeah, but niggas be fizzling out, bro. Like, For sure, but I'm saying that's why you shouldn't feel old, though. Yeah, but you got to think about it. Like, the, the new content creators of the day that's killing it, like, you know, like Kai and Speed and all them niggas, they was watching me when they was motherfucking 15, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even though we ain't that, it ain't that much of an age difference. Age difference. Um, I still just feel like, oh, like an OG. How do you feel like that? Do you like that? Do you like? I think when I think sets, that's a mindset, man. No, no, I, it ain't a bad thing because I feel like what sets me apart is the fact that I make music. Yeah, I feel like if I was strictly a YouTuber, mm -hmm. then I feel like it wouldn't be as like. I feel like the music is like an added factor. For sure. It's like it's like you you meet a girl or some shit, mm -hmm. and you know she cool as fuck, she cute or whatever, mm -hmm. and then she be like, "Oh, I skateboard, I okay. do kick flips, three sixty nine hundreds, all that type of shit." And you right. be like, "Oh, that's dope." Yeah. What the fuck? All right, right. That's what that's sets you apart. apart. Yeah. yeah. That's what sets okay. you apart from this other girl that looks just like you. you yeah. Know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I feel like that's what where my my extra um, <clears throat> relevancy come from. It's like, okay, this nigga do music. Like, if all they'll feel, I know this nigga can rap. You mm. know what I'm saying? He he got plaques and shit. So, mm. I yeah. feel like 
that's what that's what kind of saved me from I mean if I was just doing YouTube I think I could have still been going crazy but you think that's what gave you an extra like lane yeah, yeah. for everything for sure bro. yeah for sure I think so too yeah. but I mean regardless though, I think you would have still been fine but I definitely understand what you're saying like the music stuff cuz I mean you had just posted a vlog with Polo G by doing a car thing. If you never started rapping, that would have never happened. You would have never made that connection. Well, you might have, but not on that rapper to rapper level. Does that make sense? Yeah. Totally and then now, like, you know what I'm saying? You can bring that back to YouTube. Yeah. So I get what you're saying. Yeah, I get a whole different layer of yeah. content. And then, like, even the Kevin Gates, like, mukbang thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like those I made, things. I made so much cheese off that video. Oh, bro. did you really? But I honestly feel like, it's kind of off subject, but I honestly feel like, can't nobody, can't no other dude come from YouTube, how I came from YouTube, mm -hmm. and do music. No. And like successfully cross over, successfully get plaques, successfully get streams, successfully do shows, do um, things across the world, what's it called, um, festivals and shit. I don't think it's another nigga on YouTube that can do that. Yeah, I haven't seen I haven't seen one successfully do it on the level that you've done it yet. Like realistically, no, I'm being real. No, no, I'm saying like realistically. Not this ain't even no no cocky shit. Like, who could you say that's another person that crossed over besides Queen? Realist, I'm talking about real vlogging, bro. They be saying people like, oh, Justin Bieber. You know, Justin Bieber was on this bitch singing, nigga. Yeah. That don't count. All right, Justin Bieber ain't never did no mukbang. No, nah, he wasn't a YouTuber. Yeah. yeah like, no. I, um, I came as a YouTuber. Yeah. And went into music. Yeah, no, I haven't seen anyone do it. And I don't think anyone will do it, really. I don't niggas, see it. Niggas be trying, though, and I see No, of course. I mean, I see a bunch of people do it. Try to do it. Try, yeah. But it doesn't... <clears throat> what I'm saying is, like, do it on the level that you have. Yeah. Where now you performing a Rolling Loud. Yeah. Now you at the BET Wars. Now you're doing this. Now you're doing it. Like now you on actual like tours. Like, no, nah, I don't think I don't see that happening anytime soon. Yeah, you know, me neither. So not to crush anybody's dreams watching this, but this is a tough. Yeah, thing. if anything, take it as motivation. But you know, I don't, you know what I look at my shit as. What's that? Imagine it being a big ass snowstorm, right? It's a big ass snowstorm, and uh, hold on. Here you go. hey, hey, how you go, cook? Imagine it's a big ass snowstorm, right? Mm -hmm. And when the when I'm I'm like the nigga that's walking through the snow. They like, hey, DDG, go through the snow and tell me what's on the other side. Is it gonna be ice? Is it gonna be grass? Is it gonna be sunny? What's going on? I'm like, alright, I'm finna go. I go through the snow, right? And then as I'm walking through the snow, more snow coming down so it covers up my trail. Okay. So in order for a nigga to I say that to say, in order for a dude to get through the snow like I did, he gonna have to find his own path. Right. And it's damn near impossible. Y yeah. Because there's only one way to go. Is what you're <laughs> there's only one right. way to go. So if you don't follow my exact footsteps, exactly, yeah. you're not gonna get to the other side. All right. All right. Plain and simple, bro. I think what people could do is they could follow your footsteps to attempt, but what happens after that is the real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I think I'm not saying it's not possible for someone to like. Because if you want to talk about it on a lower scale, people have done it, right? But it's like the the thing that separates you is like, can you do it on the level where people really take you seriously as a real rapper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, no, I don't. Like, think, I, I don't, feel like I don't see that happening. <laughs> I, this I would say this. I feel like I'm a. I, I can highlight a few niggas that I feel like could do it if they really wanted to do it. Okay. You gonna say now or? Yeah, okay. I would say A and P. Like if they really wanted to rap with the amount of influence and numbers. That oh they yeah, did, they could definitely do that. Yeah, for sure. Like a nigga like Duke, if he was like, you know, I want to rap, mm -hmm. they gonna take him serious yeah, just because it. how they viewed him. Already viewed him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If Kai said I want to rap and he really did it. They might try to downplay him a little bit mm. for a minute, but if the nigga go crazy, mm -hmm. like, or if he get a feature with motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He know everybody. If he get a feature with such and such, yeah. boom, yeah. that's all you need. But, if but even on, even like, 
I think Duke is a good one. I don't know if like I I still feel like people he he would because you could say Kai has made money off of music now, right? But what I'm saying like I don't feel like and this is not me. This is me just being one thousand. Am I just solid or no? Can I take this? Yeah, you can't move. Well, you know, you start, it was off the whole time. You lying. Oh, it was no, it was off. It was off. I turned it off. Okay, for sure. You kind of scared me for a second. No tip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, I ain't got no cash. Hey, Jim, for a tip is crazy. You want to just get in and What is? What if I just buy another water and just tip her for the water? Right? You can do that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, what was the last thing you said? I was just basically saying that, like, even on like. Even on like if Kai was to make music, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like people would pay attention to it because of how much influence he has, but I still don't think that like people would take it serious like they do with you. That's just me. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there's still gonna be a percentage of people that's gonna be like yeah. You know, I mean, don't get him yeah, but I'm not like, saying that he can't make it because he, because like I said, he already has. He already has made music. Yeah, yeah. This guy, a lot. Of, I mean, what's that Avalanche song? He made a lot of music, so he's yeah. made money off of it. But I'm saying, like, I feel like I don't know. Maybe it's just because I, I think Kai wouldn't even want to do that. That's the. I, I think know. that's why I'm thinking about it like this that. This is what happens. But bro, like, like, like we, well, Speed do it too. He make music, but it's like he not really trying for it. Exactly right. Which which makes it cool. When you try, that's when they. That's start when they start. Yeah, ex- exactly right. See me, I was really trying. Trying, yeah. So they like, nigga, what the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. You just did. I like you, prank, nigga. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> but it's like when you really, when you try enough, yeah. and it's like, okay, all right, that's kind of hard. Oh, yeah. he's collabing with such and such. Boom, boom, boom. So it's a, it's, it's a way to do it for sure. But you gotta have the eyeballs before you start trying to cross over. And I feel like the niggas that's up there right now, like they can do it. Yeah, because they got the eyeballs. They got the eyeballs. Right. Right. Yeah. But if you drop something weak too many times, that shit fizzle out. So yeah. yeah. That was just a little side discussion. I want to just randomly say this, bro. I missed you, man. Missed you too, bro. No, no. No. But I, I, I genuinely did. I'm happy to see you. And I'm happy we're both at the place where we can look back at what happened and be like, that shit was stupid. Like, let's move on. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it kind of, you know what I'm saying, it did it did kind of like upset me when I came to your crib. Only me and you know what happened that day when I came over to your crib. You got to throw one more in there. Uh-huh. Got no it. homo? Yeah. yeah. All right. That was kind of gay. Yeah. Anyways. Didn't sound like some diddy stuff. Uh. <laughs> uh, no, like, I mean, I, like only, only me and you know what, what we talked about that day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, it, it kind of did, even though, like I said, like my main mission was just to tell you, like... You know, it, it it was upsetting to know that, like, you know what I'm saying, even though I told you, like, you know what I'm saying, we still might not be friends after this. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm happy that we're both at the place where we can both look back and just be like, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know, I don't hang out with nobody yeah. out here. You know, I film and I do my things and I go and link up with people and I have business, I guess, associates. And mm-hmm. you have a network of people, obviously. But, like, people that, like, you could genuinely go and, like, you know, hang out with and like genuinely laugh about stuff and like make money walk together. Like I don't really have that. You know what I'm saying? Like Zs came over a couple of weeks ago, but like that's all. He doesn't live here. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, you know, you gotta get out, man. You don't leave the crib, do you? No, that's your problem, nigga. Get out of the house, bro. What you gotta do? Hit niggas up. Type shit. That's how I met you. Yeah. yeah, I DM him when I was like, "Let me be in one of your uh, pickup line videos." Normal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I definitely know a lot more people out here than I did when I was in LA. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I've got, I got my same group of niggas I hang out with. Like, I don't hang out with too many people. Mm-hmm. So like, my my same group is the same, and like, eighty percent of my group is family. Right. Yeah, so it's right. Like, right. You know, I don't really be making too many new friends either. I got a few rapper friends and shit. But. Yeah. So I don't have that though. Like I have yeah. my core family members, my mom, my dad, my sister, but they're all in LA still. So it's like I can't. You I chose need to make that leap though. Of course. I mean, listen, I'm not. I don't. I don't. 
I don't regret it. I love it out here. I would say, and this sucks to say about Cali, but it's just the truth. Like, right? Miami is shitting all over Cali right now. I know that. It really is. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't regret it. And like I said, if anything, I've learned how to network so much better out here. Yeah. But I think it's also just because of the people, bro. Like, the people are way more willing to work out here. Like, they're more willing to, like, I think with LA, it's clout, money. And he over here, it's money, clout. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if you have if you have something going for yourself already, people are gonna like, oh well that that probably transfers well to money. Like let me let me see what he got going on. You know what I'm saying? Whereas yeah, yeah, yeah. whereas in in Cali it's like, you oh you not in this Netflix special? Oh we don't want nothing to talk. To. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, but yeah man, I don't know. I've definitely uh, you know, uh, grown a lot since I left Cali uh, for sure. You know, I wouldn't take it back. But even when, when I was over there, bro, it's just like, you know, it's your family is like, you guys are very, very close. Like yeah. my, my mom and my dad, my mom, I'm very, I'm extremely close. You already know how close I am to my mom. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm close to my sister, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, like, it's not the same as like your family where like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I, I can just, you know what I'm saying? Like hit someone up and there'd be no complications that do this video real quick and this and that or you know yeah. this that like there's there's some you know that's you get what i'm trying to say yeah yeah, yeah. so but anywho so yeah that's all good bro yeah yeah let me know next time you're in la you know i'm out there now yeah i'm setting stone i got a baby yeah so you feel like you've been finna get a property out here i've been i was seriously considering it before i had child yeah now it's kind of far but it's a six hour flight it's like crazy <laughs> yeah nigga. yeah so it's like nigga, these these one of those flights where you go to sleep nigga you wake up you still on the plane yeah, yeah i hate it's that it's like i damn, hate that yeah bro, like, now i gotta entertain myself i gotta buy wi-fi i yeah. gotta figure it out so uh i was considering vegas vegas just getting a spot out there but mm. miami is definitely my favorite all time city in the US. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's hot. I feel like I'm out the country. It feel like you out the country out here. Yeah. On an island. I, it feel like you on an island. Like there's some places you go, you feel and like am I on vacation? And there's no state taxes. And there's no state taxes. That is beautiful. That's no state taxes. And just the fact that it's a red state makes the law so much better in general. Like the gun laws are over here. You, you carry over here, bro. Bro. Yes, like I'm, I'm thinking about giving me a blender, like you know what I'm saying. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't know if I want death in my hand. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of like, yeah, I, you feel me? Like I, got, I had a whole case. Oh, for real? Yeah, you ain't see that? No, I got pulled over, had, had a gun on me or whatever, and um, my dumb ass thinking I'm good because it's registered to me. He like, is there anything in the car? Because before I check it, he kind of tricked me. Can't check my shit. Oh, he did take right, me out right. the car though. He did take me out the car. Okay. He had me on the police car. I wasn't in the car, but mm-hmm. they was just questioning me and shit. Mm-hmm. Then he was like, "Is there anything in there before I go look?" Mm-hmm. So I'm like, "Fuck." Am so I what you saying is you could have easily been like, "I don't want you to look." Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, like what happened was, nigga, I had my chains and shit because they took my Cubans off and they threw it in the back seat. They mm-hmm. were like, "We're gonna impound your car and then your stuff might get stolen or whatever. Anything can happen." Mm-hmm. Or uh, you can just tell us what's in the car, and then we don't have to impound it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my stupid ass snitched on myself, so I was like, oh, you know, I got a gun that's registered to me, though. It's, it's in there. You yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I said, oh, okay. <laughs> Get your ass in the back, nigga. I said, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Niggas, I'm like, oh, I thought y'all niggas were being nice. <laughs> How long ago did that, was that? How long ago was that? like. A year and a half ago. Damn! What the I hell? I just got it dismissed. Literally. Oh, three, you got it two dismissed. Weeks ago. That's fire. Two okay. weeks ago. Damn. So I, nigga, I had to do. Um, so you was going back and forth to court, like yeah, bro. I went to jail for like eleven hours. Damn. I was locked up with like ten Mexicans. Like, oh my god! They was trying to cross the border. Nah, oh. nah. It, this was in Van Nuys. Okay. So they was just, and it was just a bunch of drunk Mexican niggas in that bitch. But I'm just, nigga, I'm sleeping on this hard ass mattress and shit. Yeah. I'm trying to get my free calls, nigga. My fucking mama hung up, so I missed the call. Yeah, my yeah. Free calls left. So I'm just waiting to get bailed out at that point. And then my brother ended up coming to get me maybe like 11 hours later or some shit like that. And then uh, 
Like I had to do classes. I had to go to court. I had to do these classes where I went to the morgue mm -hmm. and they try to scare you. So they dropped my gun, my gun charge down to reckless driving. And um, they just made me go to like reckless driving mm -hmm. classes. Mm -hmm. And I had to go to the morgue and I had to see 500 dead bodies. Like, nigga, I seen dead bodies, bro. Like, I'm talking about, I seen every type of dead body you can think of. I seen fresh ones. They was, were they? I'm like, why were they pulling them out or bro, something? Like, they it, pull them out. They had us in a little freezer, but they uh -huh. had bodies coming in as they was touring around. Like, so this is what can happen if you're driving too fast and you hit somebody. This nigga head hanging off the table, bro. Blood still dripping. Like, the craziest, nastiest shit I ever seen in my life. The scariest shit ever. Nigga, it's, it's a body that's... I seen a body that was completely green, rotten. Green, rotten. Like, you know how if you leave a piece of steak out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's what getting moldy. Our, that's what happens to our body, bro. We're literally like a piece of steak. It's crazy, bro. Niggas really die every day. And they was like, we get about... So that shit worked, is what you're saying? Because the purpose is to it scare made, you. It didn't scare me. It just made me want to live life more. Yeah, yeah okay. Because I'm like, bro. Take it more serious. Yeah, yeah. We, not even more serious. Just like, do what I want to do, bro. If you, When you die, bro, none of this shit matters. matters. Nothing matters, bro. It's all gone. Nothing matters. You're never going to wake back up. Yeah. Literally, it's over. So when I seen that shit, I'm like, bro, these niggas don't even know how they get violated right now. Yeah. They got that nigga ass. don't even know his head hanging off the damn side. You don't side even of know your ass in a freezer, nigga. In a fucking plastic bag. Turning yellow and shit. No food in your stomach. <laughs> like, damn. You don't even And they was like, oh, we gotta. This is for the famous people if you're a celebrity. Like, nobody in the class knew that, you know, I was me or whatever. But they was like, oh, we, we got a cage. She was like, oh, this is where we put Kobe Bryant and we put Michael Jackson. Like, bro, he was, he was telling us all of this, bro. Like, it's a little cage that separates you. It's like just a regular little cage they throw your body in. It's a big-ass cage, though. But, like, so the, the bodies aren't frozen? Like, they're not in, like, a separate, like, drawer or something? No, like they, Yeah, they got little... It's, like, stacked on top of each other. Okay. So, what they do is they take you to the table. They take all your guts out and shit. Do your autopsy. Figure out how you died. Boom. Then they go put you in the freezer until somebody can claim you. Then when they claim you, they take you to the... To whatever the funeral home, mm -hmm. funeral home, get you dressed up or whatever for your funeral. Boom, boom, put you in the ground. Wow, it's crazy. But the five hundred bodies in there was John Doe's, so nobody claimed them. Wow. So if you die, nobody know. They don't claim your body, but you're just gonna be in a random morgue. In the freezer. In the freezer. Live life, kids. That was heavy. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Yeah. Damn, live your life, man. But I don't want to yap too long, man. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> had to do one of these, man. I had to catch up, bro. Now, for real, man. You say you're here till Tuesday? Yeah. We should kick it, bro. <clears throat> like I told you, I'm be doing that thing. Yeah, I'm be out here. I just, be, I just be doing my same stuff. I do the same thing every day, bro. Man, I'm seeing your story and shit. Yeah, I do the <laughs> same thing every day. So it's like you know, <clears throat> after I get done with that, man, we can link up and do something for sure. And right, then man. next time I'm in LA, you know what I'm saying? I'll definitely hit you up. You still live in the same spot, like same uh, same crib? Yeah. Glendale? No, not Glendale. What was I supposed to say, Glendale? <laughs> Glendale. Woo! Woo, watch the All right, y'all, man. I appreciate y'all tapping in, tuning in, man. Mr. Consistency. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, hold on. Wait, wait. I ain't even got to say nothing, man. Play the clay. Chandler and Lexus need to suck me up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Savage, I might get a gram, but I'm still serving bulls. Yeah, yeah.